So, Martin, looking forward to yet another uh, Donegal Senior Club Championship final. Uh, what's the wait been like for you guys? Because you've uh, had to hang around for a long time, 11 months now, since you're going to get this 2020 decider played. Uh, and now it's here. What's the intervening time been like since the day it was cancelled up until now, just days out before you get to play the county final, Martin? I suppose at the time when it was called off, it was difficult. But the first month or two, like for up until Christmas, it was, it was difficult and not known when it might be, but... I suppose once you knew then it wasn't going to be until the summertime, it made that bit easier. And the boys tipped away themselves and they got themselves in good shape over the early period of the month. And it was once it moved on, time moves fairly quick to at the same time. Once we got to the summer, when the league game started, made things a little bit easier. And we were kind of focusing, we focused on the league games for the first month or two. And once we got the county boys back, then we started zoning in on the county final. So I suppose the time is this 11 months is a long time waiting for a game, but it has gone quick enough and we've had games in between. So we're, we're looking forward to the next week now in preparing for it. Yeah. Speaking of those games that you had in between, you won the, the Division One league title. Uh, is that good enough preparation, do you feel, now ahead of a county final, Martin, given the fact that there's been no other sort of championship games at, at a, or games rather at a championship level to be played? It's difficult to know. It's difficult to say. I suppose we'll, we'll know that answer whether they're good enough preparation. We'll know that answer on Saturday night. But uh, I suppose we're... A lot of teams were weak in the league as well, and a lot of the games were won fairly easy. Some of the games won fairly easy, and some, some not as easy. But I think we we trained very well. We're very good net level training wise, and some of our training sessions and in house games have been very competitive as well. So we've got loads of football over this summer. The boys are sharp. They've looked after themselves really well, and we feel we're in a good place. But I suppose you, you won't know that until nine thirty on Sunday evening if you're climbing the steps from Quill Park. That's when you know if you're in a good place or not. Yeah. Uh, your preparations, I suppose, from the point of view of one of your key men picking up an injury and a serious injury, that too, uh, it's been very, very disappointing. And it's been hugely disappointing for the club and for the team, but for the young man himself, Owen McGettigan, picking up that serious injury and, and his years done, which is just hugely yeah. disappointing. So it is. Yeah, very, very tough on Owen. And I said that from last week, like he's, he's obviously got it missing the final, and that's what's annoying him more than anything. And uh, like I said, that from last week, it's him I feel sorry for. And, he, you know, he's not accepting it. He says, no, it's the final. It's the final. I want to play in this final. But it is, look, he's missed a lot through injury. And he, he wouldn't have played much football this year. He was in with the county and didn't get too many games. We didn't get many games this year. So to miss the championship and like Owen, he's an, he's an unbelievable footballer. Like the talent is just oozing out of Owen. And we just haven't seen it right. He, he's in the best shape he's ever been in this year. And it's just disappointing. He was ready to explode onto the scene, I feel, this year. And from to pick up that injury, it's it's very disappointing for him. More than obviously, he's a huge loss to us. There's no doubt about that. But I really do feel so sorry for Owen that he's he missed the guts of a year now through that injury, and it's it's just unfortunate. But look at that sport deals up these horrible blows, and we're not the only club to be affected by bad injuries, and he's not the only individual to be affected by bad injuries. But it's, it's how he recovers from it and gets himself back on track. And he will, I know he will. Look at he he bothered before. He's out a year and a half with hip trouble before. And he came back from that there brilliantly, but it's it's tough. It's and it's a it's a hard pill to stomach for him. But he will, I know well, he'll come out of it again, and he'll he'll be a better player for it this time next year again. Yeah, it was the cruciate, was it that he done last week? Cruciate, yeah, 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 yeah. Which is a, which is a horrible injury. I wish him uh, all the best with yeah. with with his recovery. But he'd be cheering you guys on, I'm sure, from from the sideline oh, and, and and making no himself doubt. making himself very vocal. Yeah, oh, big time. Look, he's been down training with us even since that. There, he's been down training and talking to the lads, and he's brilliant, brilliant lad to have about the place. He's of energy and like even that he was down two days later in crutches and in a strap and seeing about the places was a huge lift for the boys and really encouraging to see him down there yeah what about the rest of the squad how are you shaping up then martin yeah we're happy enough with where we're at now at the moment we've, we've no other injuries we had a few injuries throughout the summer um when leading up to saturday evening so hopefully we pick up no more injuries this weekend we have a full deck to pick from yeah um, I suppose going into this final and back to the point that you haven't played a championship game now uh, competitively in, in, in 11 months, but given the fact that you were involved in so many finals in recent years, three of which happened in the one year, with this current squad that you have, Martin, do you feel that maybe with that experience of playing in all those games, uh, particularly in 18 and 19, that, that it'll stand at the weekend? Yeah, I, th I think it does. I think that, that experience does stand you when it comes down to experience and it comes down to the last five, ten minutes and the games there to be won the last ten minutes. It does stand you in, in them cases. Um, still, look, at them the lower games, they were brilliant and they brought the team on so much and they held us in good stead when it Ulster, but like, they're nearly two years away now since them games were played, so they're really in the back of our minds, completely in the back of our minds. Like, 
with you, the old injury Owen picked up last week, like two weeks is a huge amount of time in Gaelic football, never mind two years. So I think you're right in that players do learn from experiences like that there in tight games and see out tight games and the hang-in games like that there. So I think that will stand us. But look at Kikar, no different. They've played in a lot of big games during the years as well. They've played in county finals, county semi-finals and big Ulster games and games with Donegal, all. they're all county players. So... Yes, we're experienced, but I think the car are no different if you look at all the big games when we were playing our all Ireland finals and Ulster finals. So they're, they're no different to us, really. They're, they're well experienced, and it's not going to count for much on Saturday evening. Yeah, and the fact that you know each other so well is, Martin, is, is there any surprises here? Is there any rabbits set to come out of the hat in this game at the weekend, or is it a case of you boys know each other that well since you have played so much in recent years? No, but I suppose the personnel has changed a bit in the last couple of years as well. I know we've played each other a lot, but like even in the past, we would have played the car in the past. Like, their pace was frightening. We could never live with their pace. And I think we have kind of caught up a wee bit in that regard and that we've added the Doherty's and boys like that there, the boys with lightning pace, Jack and Kelby, and they've added a bit of pace to our team. So we, we can probably match them in that regard. Whereas in the past, then we would have felt that physically we could dominate them in, in the past that we were bigger than them. But then you look at Andrew McLean, boys like that, that have really filled out, Ryan McHugh, they've all filled out there. Physically, they're really strong as well. So when we feel we may have caught up with them in terms of pace, they've, We'll feel the same that they've caught up with us in terms of physicality. So yeah, we've played each other a lot. And we know each other a lot, but they're they're two different teams. Like even the, the card team we would have played in 2016 and 2017, both teams have changed a lot. Like we've, even our inside players, like we we go for more physicality inside, whereas we would have had small players back then. And the car are no different. You know, the teams have changed, and we know each other well, but. I think the styles of play will have changed a bit in that time as well. Yeah. Is it the sort of game, uh, Martin, that you can't be found chasing in the early stages of Kilkiar was to get a bit of advantage on you? Yeah. I suppose if going back to 2016, where we found ourselves behind, like, Kilkiar have, look at the, we, know, we know the pace they have, and when they get into the lead, they're very hard to claw, to claw back. And the more you push on, they can, they, can, they can really kill you on the counter. They're a really good counter-attacking team. So it is a game you don't want to find yourself too, too far behind. Of course you don't. It's, Yes, a team like that there, but I can't, I can't see it going that way. I can see it being yeah. a really, really tight battle. A real, there'll not be much in it. It'll be score for score both ways. Both teams can score. Both teams can defend really well as well, and it will be a tight battle. I can't see it being a four or five point game either way. And any team chasing it'll be, it'll be cagey. It'll be tough, and it'll be tight. It'll be tough yeah. Battle. But we're not expecting one of these all-out attacking matches then that we've seen at under county level, where all these hurling scores were put up in football matches then, Martin. No, I look, I think it's, it's kind of a sign of the respect teams have for each other as well. But I, I know they'll respect our forward line as much as we'll respect their forward line as well. And it will be a case of keeping the score down as much as it is of trying to score what you can at the other end. And like even county level, games are 10 minutes longer as well. You know, the, in them 10 minutes, you do add on more scores as well. It's not, it's, it is a different game, the county game and the club game. But look at, uh, I don't know, it's... it's it's not all about scores either. It's you can get a great low scoring game as well where you have physicality and tackling and defending. It's an art in itself. So I've no doubt it'll be a close game. Whether it's high scoring or low scoring, I don't know, but I've, I've no doubt it will be close. Yeah. Anyway, regardless. Can you see that the hunger still in the grip from which was there a couple of years ago? Oh, big time. Yeah, big time. Look at it's and it's a different group. I know a lot of the individuals are still there, and some of them are even there from 05, but when you're bringing in new players all the time, you see a lot of new players there introduced into the squad this year. They may not even see game time at the weekend, but they have had a, added, a, added a hunger as well to the, to the whole thing. Yeah, and I, I suppose as well, I know I spoke to you earlier about this, about keeping the young players involved. And you've got a squad now that, that has got a tremendous mix of youth uh, plus experienced players. And you've got a, a good spread of, of county players there as well, Martin. What is it that makes Neve Connell special around the parish that you're able to keep these young players there uh, obviously you've, you've got the likes of uh, Nathan Burns one of them Kieran Gallagher's back with you as, as well what is it because other clubs struggle to keep players but what is it about Neve Connell that you're able to keep this very talented group together Martin I suppose it makes a difference they're coming through and they see a bit of success at the end of it for them and they're, they're coming in there it's competitive it's very competitive they're coming in trying to nail, nail a place and like a lot of the young lads that would have brought, would have brought in this year there's like there's seven or eight of them would have joined the training panel likes of Orr McCallion Neil Francis Boyle Daniel Galea, Robbie McDonald, Joe Shanky. There's lots of them would have joined the panel. And then boys would have been on the terraces in 2019 when they won the championship. And I suppose that added the hunger. Some of them would have been playing a lot of soccer then. And we've managed to get them over to the Gaelic side of things. That, but their friends are playing too as well. They want to be part of it. And they're coming down. And 
like about, I've said it in the past, and I always say it about some of our older players and our more experienced players. They're, they're great individuals and great men as well as being great footballers. They're really good lads and really good role models. And we take a lot of them players under their wings as well and encourage them. And they're delighted to see, yes, they're looking to get their places, but they're, they're delighted for that competition and we encourage them and coach them along a lot as well. So I think there, there is a good camaraderie there between young and old within the club. Yeah. Would you agree that you boys are seen as favourites? Uh, not if you look at the betting on Paddy Power, no. <laughs> I think Kilcarra, the favourites are going to be that there, but I look at it on the day, it means nothing favourites. Tag means nothing, really. It, you know, Gidor were raging hot favourites against us in 2019, and we felt within our camp we had every chance of turning them over. Um, whoever will be favourites, I don't think it'll matter. Kilcarra will go into this game confident. We're going into this game confident. And we'll not be paying too much heed now to who's, fa- who's favourites and who's not. Yeah, uh, only 500s allowed in. The crowd's going to be split between Kilkiar and, and Neve Connell between the two parishes. Um, it's going to be a different sort of final. What's the build up like now? What's the buzz around Glenty's like, Martin? Yeah, it's strange. It's this you, you know, there's a county final around the corner now, definitely. There's a lot of talk about it and a lot of color going up. Um, I suppose that the demand for tickets is huge, which is incredible. Come up to a club game that uh, obviously the circumstances too, with only. 500 being allowed in, it's difficult. A lot of people are wondering about tickets. Will they get a ticket? Won't they get a ticket? Or if they don't, where will they watch it? That's a lot of the talk. So you know there's a big game coming up now. There's a huge buzz about it, so there is. And obviously within the two clubs, are, within you've got an car, they were both football mad communities, really. It's all Gaelic in both clubs as well. So there's nobody within Glenties and Fenton and Kilcar that doesn't know the final's coming up and everyone's tuning in and eager and talking about it this last couple of weeks. Yeah, that's a very exciting time once again for, for Neve Connell. Listen, Martin, thanks for talking to us. And all we can do is wish you the the very best of luck this weekend in another county final. Thanks, man, Ashin.